We're going to continue to drag more of those great conditions that we saw all week last week and even into your Thanksgiving weekend as well. And temperatures are going to continue to moderate as well over the next couple of days, even starting with tonight. In fact, we'll be dropping into the upper 30s in most cases, so not as chilly as you're kickstarting your Tuesday. By lunchtime, we'll continue to see plenty of sunshine and high temp or temperatures then will already be above our average high temperature for the day as we will be closing out your Tuesday with temperatures in the lower 60s. We're also going to be dealing with a little bit of a breeze into the afternoon tomorrow. But at least right now, I'm not feeling too bad in some cases across central and eastern Kentucky. We'll head over to our Kentucky One Health weather bug camera in Lexington Center where it's currently Currently 46 degrees in downtown Lexington. Skies have been clear for the better part of the day, and they're going to stay that way as we continue through the overnight hours. Meanwhile, as we check out the temperatures right now, you can certainly pick out the topography across central and eastern Kentucky. Ridges are warmer, valleys are colder. Right now we're seeing the 30s across southern Kentucky, including Danville. We're currently at 37, much of the same into London. It is currently freezing in Monticello. Meanwhile, we're seeing the lower 40s for Mount Sterling, also for Frankfurt, closer to 50 degrees tonight. For Moorhead, even 50 on the dot in Jackson and Richmond this hour. Our Max Track Lab Doppler, of course, has also enjoyed a little bit of a Thanksgiving vacation. Still not tracking any showers there. And even as we expand the view, we're not seeing too many clouds right now, even spilling over into Kentucky. Any activity will be high in the sky and also across the northern portions of the viewing area. Meanwhile, the eastern third of the U.S. is quiet. Things are starting to settle down across the west coast. Meanwhile, a cold front is now tracking through the middle parts of the country, bringing some showers and even mountain snow to the Rockies. Eventually, that front will be moving its way eastward, of course, and will be impacting our forecast over the coming days. But in the near term, we're still sitting pretty under high pressure that's being parked across the Carolinas into your Tuesday afternoon. That's going to be pulling in a southerly breeze, keeping skies on the sunny side and also then talking about warmer temperatures as well. That cold front that I was telling you about is looming. It's going to be tracking closer to the Midwest by late day tomorrow. Then it stretches out north of the Ohio River to start the day on Wednesday. It's going to try and sink itself southward, not bring any precipitation, but instead just some added cloud cover during the second half of Wednesday. Then a wave of low pressure will ride by. Another cold front that's attached to that low will begin to sneak in towards Thursday. That's when we'll finally begin to see rain for the first time in almost two weeks by that point starting to track in across the area. It is not going to be a washout. More or less just dealing with some scattered light rain showers before we hit the end of the work week. In the meantime, we're going to be tracking a lot of sunshine and also seasonably warm temperatures. Tomorrow, in fact, will be the warmest day of the week and also your eight-day forecast with highs in the lower 60s. Not a record, but we will be running anywhere from 10 to even pushing 15 degrees above normal. That's when the warming trend peaks. We will slowly begin to pull things back down closer to normal by Friday. But still, we aren't expecting any big surges of cold air moving in anytime soon. Temperatures look to stay mild even through the upcoming weekend. But tonight, we are going to be getting a little bit on the chilly side, dropping into the mid to upper 30s under clear skies. 63 for a high on your Tuesday will be sunny and breezy into the afternoon. We'll introduce a few more clouds later in the day on Wednesday with a high of 60. We're back down into the 50s Thursday with scattered rain, especially into the afternoon. Then we quickly dry things out Friday. The weekend's looking good, too, if you want to do some holiday decorating. As temperatures will be back into the low to mid 50s, we're pushing the 60s once again on Tuesday before another round of showers move in. And then after that, that's when we could start to feel a little bit more December-like, but that's still, of course, still a week away. Yeah, in so. the meantime, sliding into December <laughs> yeah. with 50s and 60s that's is right. the bonus. Yeah, thanks, Jill.